It is week seven of the fight camp and ooh, let's turn this off. Uh, Thanksgiving just passed and it was great time to spend with family, great time to have off. Saturday morning I woke up at a new low which uh, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago I was having some plateau issues so I hit a new low of 207.6. So I'm gauging that roughly this Sunday I'll be at 205 or 204. We're taking a look at doing an hour of extra steady state cardio. If I have the time, I'll do it in the morning. If not, I'll split them into two 30 minute sessions or better yet, um, I'll split it up into three 20 minute sessions throughout the day. So at least in periods of me doing prolonged sitting, I'll have the chance to keep moving so my body doesn't think that I'm just sitting down and not wasting energy. So my body will tend to stop burning calories and go in more of a storing mode rather than a burning mode, which is something that I don't really want. They're gonna be a mix of more swimming, Stairmaster, skipping rope. Um, even though I don't wanna do that too much now because we're coming up to the fight and it has to do a lot with the calves and it's kind of a plyometric exercise for your calves. So I'm gonna tone down a little bit on that, do some cycling, uh, rowing, and yeah, those are gonna be the forms of cardio that I'll do. This morning we went in, gym, we had a boxing hit workout in the morning. Um, with my girlfriend and uh, her family, so that was really, really fun. It's kind of just to get out and do something and move, and then we finished tonight off with 30 minutes of one minute on, one minute off, uh, high speed cadence for my legs just to get the speed going. We did some in and out for speed with the elastic as well, and then we finished off with a little bit of a bro day and some arms. It's always fun, just wanted to burn more energy and keep going. <laughs> Saturday we got six days left till fight week and something that I think I did not touch upon for this camp um, for you guys to learn from is the nutrition aspect like what am I eating how am I eating why am I eating where is Gamora yeah I'll do you one better who's Gamora I'll do you one better why is Gamora I think it's a big thing that a lot of fighters or just Athletes don't talk about too much because they don't have an insight to it But because that's what I like to study a lot and it comes with my degree This is something that I could kind of give back So when it comes to fight week, I really don't try to take food away I think that's something that really puts people down and energy especially when it comes to the last couple of weeks that's when we're pushing the hardest and we're expending a whole bunch of energy so it doesn't make sense to shove your food all the way down when you're burning 5,000 calories and you're only eating 2,000 calories. It doesn't make any sense, especially on performance wise. And waking up in the morning and just feeling exhausted and tired and lacking of energy because you're not eating anything, it's, that's like not something that you want. So when it came to food, I don't want to get into the specifics because that could be a video on its own, but we're sticking to roughly 3,000 calories, 3,200 on those days that I'm spending about 5,000 calories worth of energy output. So the calories are very good. I'm hitting every nutrient I need. Micronutrients, they're very dense. Um, Food-wise, you guys know what I eat. It's the same. It's always high volume as food that's not going to give me a lot of weight. So like at night, I'll have a big plate of veggies, almost like two plates worth of veggies. I like to go for stuff like... Um, uh, spaghetti squash it's super low in calories but it's very voluminous and fills up the bowl a lot and I usually tend to have my carbs like actual carbs you know we're not talking about like fruits and veggies I don't really consider those are just like carbs carbs especially when it comes to my meals throughout the day but at night is when I have the heaviest carb meal because my evening workout is usually the more intense one um, so that's when it comes to food. That's what I really like to do. I like to have my carbs at night roughly two to three hundred grams Depending on what I did, right? 
And then when it comes to throughout the day, I, I just, I like to have a nice breakfast. I wake up in the morning, I'm, I'm enjoying the sun that's outside. It's beautiful outside. When it came to food, I wake up in the morning. This is the plan. Like guys, if this is exactly what I do, there has been no change. And this is why I'm so excited because my weight is already at 205 and I'm six days out. So I'm coasting right now. I have roughly a liter of water. Uh, I put a little bit of salt in there, like one eighth of a teaspoon pretty much. Just a little bit, gives me around 250 uh, milligrams of uh, sodium. I'll do that. With that, I'll have a cup of coffee just to kind of get things going. I'm a little extra when it comes to the body, so I like to give myself a uh, digestive massage just to allow, I'm not gonna go scientific on you guys, but it's called peristhesis, that, that movement of the intestine, so I really like to get that going. I usually go for the morning poo, and then from there, I'll put my stuff on, so we got sweater, we got some shorts. Right now we're gonna go do 30 minutes of a workout. So every morning I'll always do about 20 to 30 minutes of a workout. Sometimes I'll have a sauna with that session a little later. Today just calls for the morning session and I'll see how I feel. I probably might do a sauna, but I'm not too sure yet, depending on what I have for the rest of the day. But we'll do that morning workout, come back in the house. From there, I'll wait about 20 minutes. I'll take my cold shower. I'll get dressed, I'll get everything ready for the day, and then I'm gonna eat my breakfast. So my breakfast, usually for this whole camp, it's been my breakfast bowl in the morning, my oats with chia seeds, flax seeds, um, cinnamon, a little bit of pumpkin uh, puree, I love to add it in there. A oh, shit ton of uh, fruits like berries, definitely blueberries, raspberries, goji berries, cranberries, pomegranate, like all those berries. I'll put that in the bowl, I'll mix it, I'll eat. Sometimes I'll put a tablespoon of sunflower butter or walnut butter, and then I'm good to go for about four hours, three, four hours. From there, guys, when it comes to the next meal, it's it's either a snack because I'm working at, uh, at, at the clinic, working with the athletes, or it's an actual meal. So typically for all my lunches, I'll do like a salad, like a huge green salad and I'll eat that. And then with that salad, I'll have my tomatoes, my cucumbers, my celery, kale, spinach, arugula, all those greens, all those cruciferous vegetables, the micronutrient dense. Then I like to make some like smoked tofu or barbecue tofu or tempeh or a bean mash that I made with a little lentils or a little bean patty that I made myself at home. I'll usually take that with me and I'll eat that. Then later before before, like two meals before my workout, I have a snack. Most of my snacks, a handful of nuts, nuts and seeds. You guys know I'm allergic to nuts, if you know me, so I can only eat walnuts, so I'll do like walnuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflowers. Um, those are pretty much like the little bundle that I make of, uh, of like a mix. Then from there, my pre-workout meal lately has been like a beetroot powder, either from Chrono Bar or just pure beet powder on its own with maybe an apple, um, yeah, that's like pretty much the meal that I have. And then I blast my workout, I feel good, I feel ready, I like I feel great. And then I have my supper, and supper is always like the change. You know, sometimes it's burritos, sometimes it's uh, stir fry, whatever it may be. But that's like the meal plan, guys. Simple, easy. easy it's not that hard you stay consistent and the weight comes off you feel good you feel energized and you don't feel weak and then you're able to blast yourself so when it comes to food guys that's the simple breakdown it's easy things you like you're not trying to cancel anything out you're eating what you want when you want but you're being controlled and you're timing everything super clean all the time but I'm eating what I want I'm never eating out, but I'm eating everything I want all the time, every meal, every day. So when you come to that, it feels like you're not even weight cutting at all. <laughs> and it feels really good. Right now, workout time.